Are you excited for me? Yeah, no, when the first day of your last period was? Uh, so it's March. Oh, that's like so Monday long ago. January. You thought it was supposed to be cold. I thought it was going to be cold, like the one that he uses when he does the hot. That's better. Warm's better. Oh my goodness. Where is it? Oh. Okay. Are we ready to go, Arm? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. So, um, this is where the, your bladder is here. Okay. Your cervix is down here. Right now, this baby's breech, because its head is up here. Yeah. So, is it how it's supposed to be, or? <laughs> Uh, or is it like the opposite? Down. It's upside down. Oh, it's upside down? Okay. <laughs> when it's born, it needs to be head first. So? So this is the baby's head here. This is its little heart beating. Oh, okay. Ah, look at that. This is the spine along the back yeah. here. This is a leg folded up. <laughs> Sorry. Straightened up right across there. That's the leg. The little or he's like uh, pushing. Up there. Yeah. yeah. And the other leg. Beside it, so it's got both of its feet up by its head. That will be why it's been kicking lots today. <laughs> My head's like in like so compact way. Yeah. So this is an arm here, elbow, forearm, hand, and the other arm is over here, sort of tucked underneath. This is what you press on. <laughs> That is pretty nice. I thought I thought it would be like smaller. Pardon me? Is that the heart of the baby? Yeah, like? that's the baby's heart. Oh. So this is the baby's chest in a cross section, sort of through this way. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, um, the chest, that's the heart there. Down a little bit lower, this is the belly and cross section. That black dot is the stomach. Yeah, I am rolling. Okay. okay. I'm just, um, I've stopped this and I'm just going to scroll back to it. Can you see that the baby's opening its mouth there? Oh. Ah, look at it. So it keeps gulping like amniotic fluid? Yeah, right? yeah. It's practicing swallowing and breathing and stuff. Oh. He just turned his head? or? No, I turned it. No, she turned the head. Oh. I turned it. I think it's a what? Is that the placenta by its head there? Or like what? This is the placenta back here. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like a pillow for him right now. Yeah. Okay, so um, anything else you want to see here? Are we good here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I'm just going to turn the screen and I'm going to start doing routine pictures. Okay? Yeah, okay. What pictures? Routine, routine pictures. She needs oh, okay. to have pictures of certain things like. Uh,
cross section of that. Yep. So this bread is farming fully? It hasn't grown full size. It seems like this empty space. What's that in the head? Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty much got everything that's supposed to happen. You could pretty much do your own ultrasound. Uh, it's a little hard to... Oh, no. Are you a sonographer? Hmm? Are you a sonographer? No. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about you. I was telling you. Oh, that you could do your, uh, I could do my own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's not that easy to scan yourself. I mean, you can, no, but, it, but to reach around like, in the right hmm. positions would probably be quite difficult. So when you were pregnant, like, did you know how to do this? Like, yep. Oh. I um I tried to resist the urge to look. Oh, okay. Because you could get a little crazy. It'd be funny if the doctor would be like, no, if the ultrasound man or woman would be like, oh, do you want to know it's a boy or a girl? Like. Uh, no, it's okay. I know it already. <laughs> I'll just keep it from my husband. <clears throat> so is that pretty normal to have the uh, leg like, by the face there? Um, oftentimes, breech babies um, end up like it, you know. At this point, it's breech, and it, uh, oftentimes they'll have their legs folded up, sort of right in front of them, sort of like a little jackknife. Yeah, yeah fold them half. So like. When do they start turning? Um, close to term. It's hard to say. It could be in a different position tomorrow, um, or it could stay in this position forever. <laughs> it's hard to... Oh, so there's no set date? No. No. Um, the baby does a lot of turning, love. So at... Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, well, uh, can we talk to you later? Oh, my God. Why would you answer that? <coughs> that was probably one of my do not answers. That's the... I didn't say do not answer. It was like, hello, you have won something. Yeah, that's one of my do not answers. They even bother people during ultrasound. He has no choice. Or he. What is this that you're measuring now? Um, that's the belly's, uh, the baby's belly in cross section. Oh, okay. So I was trying to get a uh, rib cage. I have a rib cage. The circumference of the abdomen, yeah. So, what is the color showing now? Corresponds to blood flow. Oh. And it's just showing where the umbilical cord is coming into the baby's tummy. It's not wrapped around his head or anything. No. Um, the umbilical cord is kind of 
like a floppy tube sort kind of, of like all around. Yeah. And um, it's really hard to tell you exactly where it is. Like just to, to follow it from start to end is would be a job. <laughs> it's a, it looks almost like a rope. It, it is does. like a rope. Like yeah, it's around. got uh, three blood vessels in it, and they all sort of yeah. spiral. <laughs> two of them go straight down, and another one spirals around and back. How do you know so much? Because I just did my biology last year. Oh. And because I got pregnant right when I was doing the reproductive system, I was looking up everything. I would say that's the heart again. Yeah. Gotta get a top view before chambers. Fine. Well, seem to be working pretty good, yeah. I was just wondering if it's pretty epic. Single battery, low battery. That's okay. I have Mr. Momax here. How many ultrasound do you do a day? Um, maybe about 15 patients a day. 50? 15. Oh, okay. So what are we looking at now? Um, this is the baby, baby's uh, belly in cross section. Okay. And I'm just trying to get it. What's like the small hole? sections like black spots um fluid shows up black on ultrasound oh okay so so for example uh, the baby has dropped some fluid and that's why it's in its stomach and that's showing up oh, okay black. and then this line here um is the aorta and it's got blood in it so then it shows up black as well you see that Let's oh see. yeah you can see it like vibrate no, like, like, pulse. pulse. Yeah, yes. that's what I meant. <laughs> Interesting. I should have studied biology and engineering. That's why I'm going to do something. Although I don't think I'm going to get into biology. It's not
trying to convince my friend to go into gynecology, not to touch me. She says she's like, no, that's okay. She said she's a crazy man, especially. She's a nerd. She said you're a So everything looks normal, nothing unusual. So that's... for me? I'm just trying to get a, a, a good look at the baby's kidneys. I'm having a hard time lining it up just because of the position that the baby's in. Because it's kind of... It's not that high res. It would be like HD by now. Mm -hmm. Like everything, go, like turning HD, ultrasound HD. Hey, you still get to see it. Yeah, I know. You told you work what you believe in. Yeah. Why well, didn't we go for 3D ultrasound? Is that was that bad for the baby? Uh, a little more stressful. Yeah. Okay. Three D ultrasounds are not perfectly smooth clear there. Oh. I'll show you some three D ultrasound pictures. We can Google. Inside the textbook, they're not diagnostic. Hmm. Not diagnostic. Oh. The three D ultrasound here is a is a way to look at your baby, and it's not a diagnostic test. Oh, okay. Is he sucking his thumb? Thumb right now. Um, I think it's just sort of beside its face. Like I don't think it's actually. Yeah, it looks to me more it's off to the side than. Oh. When babies move, are they actually awake or are they just like? Sometimes. I don't know, they probably don't know the difference between awake and sleep. Oh well, no, they don't know the difference now, because it can hear, and it can detect some light right now. It would be interesting to know what they're thinking right now. Probably oh, well, wants to stay no, in there. <laughs> nice yeah, doing. life's much harder. Why does it seem like this, like shadows sometimes? Um, as in where? Like, for example, you see like vertical bands going. Yeah. Like, um, sometimes it's a physics thing. Um, <laughs> if you, you make something uh, obstructing, then straight on, and then there's, oh, okay. then you don't see anything behind it. And um, something that's a really strong reflector, for example, here, this is bone. And so then the... A change in density causes the ultrasound to reflect, right? Right. So a really strong reflection of the ultrasound and then you don't see anything. Oh, okay. It, yeah. Because all the ultrasound is reflected back. And that's why you get that bright thing. It's a strong reflection versus things that, you know, aren't reflected. Yeah. So like the, the sound travels quickly through the fluid and there's nothing in it to reflect the sound right. back. So then it shows it as being black.
but it also shadows off the edges of things and stuff as well. It's just a part of So, um, according to your dates, you should be 24 weeks, 2 days. Mm -hmm. uh, today's measurements are coming up to 25 weeks, 0 days. Um, that's measuring 5 days ahead. Um, that's well within the normal range. At this point, our measurements are accurate to plus or minus a week and 5 days. So, how many days ahead it is? 5. Oh, yes. Because remember, it was like January 4th or 5th? Right now, it will be like January 1st. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll start massaging the belly on December 30th. <laughs> I'm like really pre pressing on it on. December 31st, and I'll have to not take if, day off at work. If you know for sure uh, when the first day of your last period was and your cycles were regular, that's probably the most accurate date. Um, well, they, they fluctuated by one or two days. Yeah. So, um, from the ultrasound perspective, uh, we would just say if you're pretty sure about your dates, then your dates are correct because you want to measure the normal range of your dates. Okay. Um, at this point, the baby's weight is estimated at. Uh, 748 grams or 1 pound 10 ounces and its heart rate was 146 beats per minute so all pretty darn normal. So you can go ahead and rip your tummy off of the towel. If you need to use the washroom it's just outside the door to the left. Okay. Are you happy Tommy? I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. um, now, one of my cousins had an ultrasound a little while ago while, oh, down there, while um, she was pregnant, um, and she got pictures from it. Oh yeah, I'll oh, get some pictures. Um, why are you, um, oh, I'm trying to clean your... I know, I'm not just having your face, not your tummy, don't worry. <laughs> I guess we're done. So I'm just going to check your pictures with the doctor and um, I'll get a few pictures to So we gotta go back again. <laughs> yep. That's okay. I got more ultrasound time then. Good shot. Yeah. Is the spinal column? question like when like hospitals were in there um, what would happen after like women like gave birth like what happens to like the placenta no like let's say there's no midwife 
Well, you're supposed to pass the placenta, you clap the cord, and you cut it. No, like, like over here, like now we cut the umbilical cord after the baby is born, yeah. right? But then... You clamp both ends. No, like, let's say there was no clamp, nothing, right? Like someone was born in a jungle, and then what would they, they do? It. They have to tie it. They have to tie it? In the car, you take out your shoelaces. You have to tie it? And tie both ends. Oh. Yeah. You, uh, you tie it here, tie it here, and then cut it in two. How, how did the first woman know that they have to tie it and cut it? Interesting. Or maybe, yeah, maybe after a few women died, then they figured out. <laughs> Stop that from leaving. <laughs> like animals, like they bite on it, like chew on it. No, no. I don't know. Like the straw falls off. The placenta, they don't bite the chew. No, like it would be interesting. Like the umbilical cord, you still have to attach it somehow. Yeah, like if the. Let's say if no one cuts it, if the placenta is still attached, and then after birth, you have. For a few hours, you have the baby dangling from you, like, mm -hmm. and then after the after birth, then the baby like, gets completely detached from the mothership. And then, no. Does it have like a minty smell or anything? That no, it's, it's warm. So I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So we're done. Like the smile. Happy, happy face. Happy face. No, look at the thing. I'm busy wiping myself. Okay, look at this and give it the happy face. We made that. No, no, no. Go. Point at it and. Oh, wait, point at it and look at the happy face. Ready? One, two, three. No, no, you look at this thing. No, point at it. Point no, no, point, point. Just point and look. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. I'll take it.